My name is Colin Shumsky, also known as Chummy's Customs. So Chummy stems from my last name, which is Shumsky. I've heard a lot of variations of my last name. Zumsky, Suzumsky, Chamuski. But well, how Chummy came about was it was my senior year of college. They just started calling me it. Kind of stuck. Chummy's Customs kind of had like a nice little ring to it. I kind of just went, went with it. Now, living here in Miami, I feel like more people call me Chummy now instead of my actual name. I'm originally from Medina, Ohio, which is about 30 minutes south of Cleveland. I went to Kent State University in Kent, Ohio to study architecture. Uh, then I started painting shoes in 2020 during my sophomore year. I bought some paint. I think I had leftover money from my graduation party from high school. I had like a leftover Visa gift card. My first order was my cousin, Ubi. Purple Lakers drip with Kobe's numbers, 8 and 24 on the back. I got a used pair of shoes from Plato's Closet. I charged him $20. So I was doing that all throughout school. Up until my senior year, I wanted to be an architect. End of the fall semester, my senior year, I could tell I wasn't putting as much effort. I didn't have as much passion behind architecture. But that came to the final semester that I met one of my best friends, Corbin. We were partners on our last project. But at that point, my business started to pick up, sort of. I would always work in my room at home. I brought all my stuff from my room. To the studio. I would say every other class I was bringing in a new pair to work on. The professor wasn't the biggest fan of this, I will say that. It was time to graduate. I moved back home, but when, right when I got home, I would say that's when I started to take TikTok and posting seriously. That's when I started posting every single day. I started posting like 3D swooshes. Most of the stuff that I do is architecture influence, whether that be from creating the mock-ups and Photoshop, 3D printing softwares to be able to 3D print pieces like this. I would say just design background in general, I would say architecture influenced me a ton. I don't regret going. We graduated. Me, Corbin, his girlfriend, her friend, but also my friend. So with all four of us, packed our stuff all in a U-Haul, drove out to LA, just kind of started a new life there. That was definitely my first risk. I don't know what we were thinking, honestly. It's crazy to think about now, all four of us did not have a plan whatsoever. The move was tough for one thing, just to leave everyone behind, but then also just to like start completely over a whole different state across the country. It wasn't easy. I figured I would always trust myself to figure it out. Somehow, some way, I'll figure it out. Looking back, I think it was successful. I got to LA. I was just kind of going through the motions the first couple months. And then my girlfriend at the time, she sent me an Instagram post from Major Wave Lab which at the time I had never heard of them. So I went and I emailed them too. I went in and I, I printed out like a printed physical resume. I just went in to see what happens. I met Manny, one of my best friends from LA. I met Ruben, who was the founder and owner of Major Waves Lab. I appreciate him a lot. He's done so much for me, getting me deals, brand deals, and just looking out for me in general, how to like handle things. I can go to him with anything. Oh, this brand reached out. How do I handle that? or what do I say, just how to be like professional about it. Got my back in that aspect, but also just being a super good friend as well. I thank him for a lot of stuff, mainly for this opportunity right here. I was working with them about like six to eight months. November 2023, he mentioned that they were opening up a new Miami location, but he never mentioned like who was gonna go over there, if he was gonna hire someone over there to run it, or send someone from LA or Vegas to run it. At the same time that was going on, I received an email from a company that also had a location in Miami. I was Ruben about that, and he was like, oh, that's good, like you could work with them and you could work with us still. I had a couple interviews with them, but it ended up not working out. It wasn't the path that I was supposed to go on. But then I told him that, that would never happen. He's like, oh, do you want to run Miami instead? Sure, I, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really think about it that much. It didn't really even hit me until I got here. That happened so quick. I think it, it might have been like three weeks. He told me, or I decided that I was moving. Literally three weeks later, I left. That was also hard, leaving people behind. I remember my last night with our roommates. We had a really good moment at the pier. Santa Monica, probably one of our favorite spots. I think about it a lot. Moving across the country two times in the span of two years, it's a lot.